Hello everyone, this is uh, Adib Harhori. I'm making this video to help you guys with your application to MSU. Well, uh, yes, this video is for you guys, aerospace engineering majors at the International University of Rabat. Uh, first, you go to this page, you can find the link uh, in the video description. And let's get started. First, you start with your application here. Go to start your application. Just need an email address, a valid email address, and a password. You create your account and just start the application. So, I've already created my account. Let's go and see what's in it. Okay, just email address and uh, password you need at least eight characters for the password let's remember this okay here we are if you're just starting a new application just go to new and you create your application i've already created mine so i just go to update okay start from the very beginning and you go step by step through all the application First, here are the admission information. So, of what state are you illegal resident and international students? So it's not applicable. When will you begin? Fall 2016. Uh, select the program of study for the campus you will attend. It's Masters of Science in Aerospace Engineering. And how did you find out about us? You just put whatever you want in here. Uh, have you previously attended MSU? No. Do you plan to enroll for dual degrees for this term? No. We're not applying for two majors at the same time. Uh, which campus will you attend? It's a Starkville. Application type international graduate and citizenship status. Non resident alien. That's it. What's in here? If you have been given a code, a program code, enter it. No, we haven't been given anything, and it's not, you know, uh, re a required field. See here, red asterisks uh, indicate uh, indicate required field. So let's go to the second step. Go to personal information. Uh, once you finish here, you just click complete step. Complete step. You go to the next one here personal information just put the first name last name middle name if you have one i guess some of us will have big big uh, things to put in here I don't know. well former name i don't know this is doesn't matter if you have a former name social security number this is for u.s citizens or at least residents we have social security numbers, we don't have ones. And date of birth, just it's a month, then day and year, the American way. And the gender, male or female, or something else. Okay, so that's it, we complete this step. Say okay, SSN is social security number, we don't care. We don't care about it, sorry. Oh, here and the, the contact information step three phone number well I've tried hard with all possible combinations to enter my phone number it just doesn't work you can just leave it leave it empty nobody cares about it really uh, so go permanent home address just put your home address street city zip code you can find this on uh code post something like this country morocco okay united states mailing address if you have a mailing address in the us basically but, um, i'm not sure you will have one international mailing address if your mailing address is just your home address just select copy this address from my permanent home address select this box and it's gonna be copied then complete step 
I will go to the fourth step, residency information, city of birth, country of birth, country of citizenship, unexpected visa type, it's an F1 visa, student visa. Okay, are you already in the United States? Unfortunately not. Uh, if you hold a student visa, if you have already gotten F1 visa, you can just put here from where you got the I-24. If you got J visa, you can just put here from where you got it. And dependent spouse, I've got none. Independent number of children, no. Please indicate your expected funding status. I put fully funded, but honestly, I don't know what people who are expecting uh, to get a scholarship. Uh, I don't know what they should do. Partially funded or no funding, I don't know. Just go complete step. You may have to ask about this. Uh, college. Okay, college information, education, and background. Here for UIR, you can find the code number for this institution. You just put 009999. And uh, college name UIR. I tried to put the the whole name Université Internationale de Rabat, but it do doesn't work. I got limited space in here, so I couldn't just fit it in there. City Rabat. I think the Sally uh, not applicable. What that state? State yes. Country Morocco. Attended from September 2012. Attended to hopefully uh, June 2016. Are you eligible to re-enroll? Yes. Type of hours? Just put not reported for international institutions. You can see here. Somewhere. Yes. Here, here we go. You can see it in here. Type of degree, I put a bachelor's, I don't know, we don't have anything that says uh, diploma engineer or something like this. Uh, just put bachelor's, it's an equivalent of a bachelor's, BBC shot. Yeah. Uh, degree date, uh, it's uh, well, presumably, hypothetically, say June 2016, it's the equivalent of a bachelor's degree after four years, that's how I understood that complete step then we go to the sixth step additional information so here we go are you a member of the Mississippi State faculty now uh, overall undergrad grad GPA just put 0.00 and some very bad students I'm just kidding, it's just for international students, it says here uh, International applicants should in enter 0.00 for foreign institutions and that's it, so they will get information about your GPA from your transcripts and uh, have you ever taken the GRE test? So you just reply yes or no and enter the information if you We've taken the test, and uh, yes, well, you can just put no since the GRE has been waived for uh, UIR students. Have you ever taken the GMAT? No. Have you ever taken the TOEFL test? Yes, and you enter the date, and uh, it's internet based basically, and the score. Have you ever taken the IELTS? The IELTS is the equivalent of the TOEFL test, the British equivalent of the TOEFL test. Just now, if you got it, but the IELTS, the minimum requirement for the TOEFL is 79 and the minimum requirement for the IELTS is uh, 6.5. you ever taken the TSE? I don't know what the hell is the TSE, and I honestly don't care about it. And complete step. Go to the alumni waiver information. So if you're not an alumnus of MSU, you just check this box and uh, then click complete step. Easiest one, okay. So the complete step. Anyway. Go to the state statement of purpose. 
Well, the statement of purpose. You can read this, write a detailed and carefully edited statement indicating your purpose and objective in pursuing graduate study at MSU and relevant employment and academic experiences to your chosen field of study. Well, and so on. Just read this. I'll maybe attach the. I'll attach a uh, sample statement of purpose in the description so that you can look at it and see how it should be. And here you upload. You only you only can upload a .dot text file or PDF file. A well, PDF file is the the best form, I guess. Text form is just like a. Uh, it's called block note. You can just see it in here. Block note, maybe block note. This kind of, you know, this kind of, uh, say platform. Don't care about it. And I, my advice would be to upload a PDF file, and that's it. If you have it in, you have your statement of purpose in Word form just convert it to PDF and uh, you're done upload the file and you can view it okay and here is my statement of purpose yes I for it. Okay. you can now go to the next step recommendation letters so all what you need is to have three recommenders you enter the names and their email address uh, and that's it email name and email address and it says I agree that this recommendation will remain confidential I, uh, and uh, I will not be able to see or obtain copies of this evaluation you can check this box it's your choice to check it or not I chose to check it uh, I trust my recommender that they will not put anything stupid. Anyway, so that's it. Three recommenders, three names, three emails, and that's it. Complete your step. You should basically uh, uh, make sure that your recommenders are aware of your application, and that's it. And that they accept to recommend you, basically. Then complete step. We go to what? To the resume. Well, I haven't uploaded any resume. It's not actually mandatory to upload it. It's not required. See, here. it's only required for College of Business, School of Accountancy, and Department of Political Science. But actually, if you want to upload a resume, if you have one, you can just do it. It's a plus. If you don't have one. Or you don't want to make one, just uh, skip the step. But I don't have to submit it. So, and uh, now complete step. You go to the application fee. Basically, you'll have to pay sixty dollars to process your application. Uh, that's it. Pay application fee. You can see here how it will be. Application fee, here name of card holder, and uh, select card type, master visa, whatever, credit card number, expiration date, and a valid email address. And that's it. Go back once you you pay the fee, you you can submit your application basically. And thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day.